Well, good evening, Kia. Let me just uh, try and read the panelist info. Uh. Okay, so this right here, this panel is called Highest Perfectus. And right here, this is where I have a sketch, which you can see here. And I'm going to vector it as fast as I can. So questions put in in the Oscillus Taste questions also sacred for me to answer. My mobile Discord is on there right now. And so just fire away. Oh, wait. Well, this is my... Well, this is my own OC. She's called Polythax. She's called Polythax, so the same name as my nickname, username. And she is right here. Both a Dullahan and a Genie. So spook, spooky for Halloween, of course. Okay, right. Let's just start about. Let's just let's just start this. Uh, so, what makes vectors different? Vectors are. You you see vectors. You see people describe vectors as show style. This that. Is this right? Yeah. Translate. You see vectors described as show style. But the real difference is actually how the data is stored within the picture file. With most pictures, data is stored as a bunch of pixels. With vectors, data is stored as mathematical objects. I'm actually in a double degree program in mathematics and computer science. Um, so I actually like vectors. In fact, they, I wrote a paper about them that was required for me to graduate from high school. This ellipse is not fine. Uh, so let me just rotate, 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 rotate. Ah, good. Clone this clip. And hand the path, hand the path, hand the path. Remember, you can still post, you, you should post your question, also states questions, right there, which, yes, can you, uh, yeah, nothing on uh, it looks like five points. So right now, I'm, I'm just making the eyes, for, for me, for me, the eyes are perhaps one of the hard parts to this, hard parts of factoring, because they're very complicated themselves. Just like the eye is a complex organ in real life, so is the eye a complex, complex thing to vector. There's multiple clips, there's multiple masks, gradients, and all that. And especially the eyebrows, I tend to obsess a bit on getting on these tripods since I have a preformed template, preformed template about these. I can just speak through this. Okay. And so the same with this. So that's the eyes done. Save. One, two, three, four, five. No. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. That's good. And I I was actually looking at the previous panel and I was I, I was actually sending some questions of my own OC to the audience. Mm. Just ungrip this, tweak them. You see, one, you see vectors, they're very close to the show style, and I want to make them as consistent as possible, both so that they look good, and so that they, so that I can easily reuse earlier vectors in my later ones. In fact, I'm just going to put my, you, you can see in the bottom left corner of your, of the stream, that's my social media contacts. 
and you can check check me out on there. So let me just fix up the ear. Eight pixels, eight pixels. This is also eight pixels. Oops, this is. Uh, I have a seeming. I I also this obsession with getting, getting the boundary between the two colors exactly at the at the corner here. So let me just fix it. Ah, this is just fine. So we'll save this again. So we'll save this again. Uh, how many layers to actually use? I I just use one layer. I try to factor what what program I'm using. Yeah, Ethan has already provided it. It's Inkscape. It is a free and open source vector source vector drawing program. Uh, just quickly, uh, we don't show this. Release clip. Hmm. And flip flip this all around. Uh, raise this. Eh? Maybe I shouldn't have done this. Just raise it here. I also, although although in the past that although in the past I did not have. Although in the past I might not have. On the bars, I actually was a bit inconsistent on this part. Now, now, now I always make make it such that the horn grooves spiral in this direction. And set this to four. Convention this is half the width of the main pony, which is partly in this case. Well, she actually has quite a lot of backstory to it. She was actually she she was already started as. You know how Twilight is Princess Celeste's student? Well, Park, this this character Parkley is Luna's student. And also, it's a bit of a jam here. Release the clip here. I myself have contributed to Imscape's development. Here, here. So I've actually made a few contributions to the gear rebel. And set so this here. Na -na 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 Got it. Next is to delete this. Join notes here. These paths, what what you see here, they are the bread and butter of pony vectors. Okay, I've done that, and so I can just delete this outline, fill. Oh, I forgot to send them to eight pixels. Just set the and yes, I'm not using a I'm not using a drawing tablet here. I do all my vectors with just my mouse and my not so powerful laptop. <laughs> okay, so this is done here. I'll just add it here. Power stroke. Hmm. Be a bit buggy sometimes. Just save it here just in case. Mm. Outline, yeah.
I've got it right. Let me just four by eight. Good. Okay. So I, I, I'm getting a bit of a. I'm getting a bit of a. There's what there's one mentioning the UK Pony Online server, but just ignore it for the moment because I'm on a tight budget. I mean, tight time budget. Da, da, da. And also, I was actually rushing to eat my dinner just before this, just before my stream. I am a Singaporean, so my stream started at 8 p.m. local time here. We bought some Tori Q from my my parents bought some Tori Q takeout for, just for me, so I ate it and yeah. It's a clip. Mm. Is this set up? This looks fine enough. I need to change. Uh, Ethan, uh, I I just did a few contributions just to make it so that. I just did a few contributions. I just did a few contributions to the escape server, to the escape Git repo itself. And that was all. I just wanted to make it look like, just make it feel better. And I, I didn't really care, I don't really care much about it. Fill two, fill one. Online. Okay, so we're done with the main. And we just ungroup this. And notice that I've actually copied a previous vector from previous vector on the other side. This is just gonna be the head of my character. She we remember that she is a Dalahan. She can take a head off at will, and she's also a genie, so she could equally as well wish for that. Um let me just bring this up. Make a stump here so that it's clear that this is just her head, just the head part. Round it nicely up here. Actually, vectors are not hard, it's just very much tedious because they're just tedious here. Uh, is this a bit too wide? Uh, too narrow, too wide. Uh, I'll just stick with this and... Round this up a bit here. The minutes have already gone. Stick it here. Now, I've actually presented much the same panel in two other cons: Chocolate Online and Quantum C Bonicon. And with and the first, the latter which is my home server. And I actually explained in the in my first presentation, I talk about this about how paths. Paths can form a lot of shapes, but that the real work it, the real, the real magic which makes vectors pop is layering, topology, as I call, like to call it sometimes. Maybe this is a bit too narrow. Then this down. Mm.
just delete this because we're not going to be using it anyway. Yeah, maybe not. It's just a bit too wide, narrow. I think I, I'll, I'll just say that this is good enough here. Vectors are a very precise mode of art. And I like to get them right down to below one pixel precision, sub pixel as they call it. So that's actually the head done. She's actually looking at her own body, which is on the right. Okay. Clean, save. Now we'll. Uh, I'll just delete the head here. Draw a, draw a little stump here as well to match the stump that is on here. And also something funny about something funny about this. Something funny about this that I remark upon at Trophon Online is that there is right now, I think, a League of Legends World Championship match that is happening right now. Should be. Let me just type in the URL so you can watch it. This is already done, so I can just smash this, smash this. Um, any more questions? Any questions right now? No, so... Now, what I put here is that these should be race hooves, so... But I don't have them right here right now, so I'll just clone, copy over the hooves from my previous vectors. Let me just search W Baru for... Search W Baru for... Uh, any, any, anything that I have. Ah, uh, yeah, that one from last year should work out. Is it, is it, uh, okay. So let me just open my Trocon Online cover. You know, I, I've actually made covers for every time I travel abroad. I make a cover to commemorate that trip. And I'm doing the same for my honor conventions as well. Uh, Where is it? RCC T. No, no, not here. Ah, uh, yeah, here. Yeah. So I just look at the side. And just. None of this is actually occurring on a different screen, so... Let me just draw. I'm actually going to show you... Uh, I'm actually going to show you the window that I'm right, now, right on now. So that you can see... You see, to get the scale right, I draw a circle. So that... I draw a circle. Because most ponies' heads are circles. I'll just... And I'll just clone it up, clone it out here. Switch back to it, and yeah, so that's essentially what it is. Uh, one big usability, one big usability issue with finding this kit is that I kind of did a path on drawing it. Well, you of course you can actually undo the path. In fact, what I do most of the time is that I. 
I draw the path and then I tweak it. That's what I'm supposed to do. It's, it's very ingenious how I... It's very genius how I can just clone clone over different vectors, different parts between different. I just clone over parts between different parts, different different vectors of the same drawing. I've actually gotten used to, I've actually gotten used to all these, all these quirks and limitations of Inkscape over the years because I've literally been using it for years. Never mind about that. Uh... Public I mean, pocket assistance evil. How does it happen? Well, of course, the most obvious source is that she gets corrupted. Well, never mind about that. Uh, and what devious things does she do? Well, she pocket that Parkley the OC is not a normal. It's not your the genie you read in Aladdin where you only get three wishes. She is not bound to any master. If I don't like the word master, she can grant as many witches as she can. Is there a group here? No, no. So I'll just scale this up. Um, getting, getting the scale right can be quite a hassle. I, I can spend quite a bit of time on it, but this is a bit too big. Too small. I've got it right here. Nebretica? Who, who, who is Nebretica? <laughs> okay, Father Kain, so I, I'm, I'm going to respond to it uh, a bit more, a bit more, with a bit more clarity because, as I said, I'm going to, I'm going to get distracted by the questions, by the questions while I'm doing this, by, by the question while I'm doing this, so... Pocket actor turns evil if she can turn evil if she gets like corrupted by King Sombra's magic or the Pony of Shadows. Or maybe she gets a wish she gets a wish, but then she's tricked by her the wisher. And what do you think she do? Well it's up to the mercy of Well, she might actually become a stereotypical genie, in which she is forced to do the bidding of whoever has a bottle. Tw twist wishes that Actually, kill other ponies or make them make them do make them do absurd, horrible things. So yeah, I hope that answers your question. Is this still a bit too small? Yeah, I think. This should be good enough. SVG doesn't support pointy stroke paths. Well, actually, this is the SVG standard. The SVG standard itself does not actually does not include it, of course. But Inkscape does have this thing called a power stroke, which allows you to make such pointy paths. If you, so, if you 
open this node. This is a power stroke right here. This is a power stroke right here. I can just edit the edit the stroke width and the position so that it so that it looks like a nice tapper just in the show. Zero pixels, eight pixels, eight, three, seven. I like the combat save for this a bit. Triple one six becomes triple one two. Hmm. It's right, yeah. And for the far cool, I'm just gonna. I'm a bit lazy, so I just duplicate the path here, and that will be it. That'll be it for the hooves. I make this a bit, makes it a bit so that it really looks like it's prancing right here. Yep. Um, in fact, I actually do myself a favor and clone this so that it actually takes up less space in the SVG file. That's when I went back to lock up a bit. Yeah, so huh? so that break that break in the Oscar's chat. Not the questions. All right. This here, actual path effect. Uh, act, just so you know, Ethan is Ethan is one of my one of my fans in another server, my own personal server. So please, he he might be a bit like overactive with his questions. So please buy a bit, and now we can start. What I really like, which is to extend extend this long genie tail right here, so that it brushes the so that it brushes the chin here. So her body is now independent of her independent of her uh, head, and it's beckoning her. Okay, uh, my bit of downtime, so let's test. Uh, never mind about that, I'll just. Uh, just 
just save this here so that in fact I drop something. Take this path here for future reference and snap. So I have something at least I have something to some at least I have the original path here just What was the reason for picking a genie as an OC? Well, actually, this is it's not Parkley is Parkley is not just a genie. When I first conceived her, she was just a lowly unicorn. As I said, for more, as I said, uh, the evolution of my OC was was actually was actually at first based on Twilight Sparkle. So at first she was a unicorn. Then I made her an Alicorn when Twilight became one as well. The reason that she is a genie is because in 2015 I in 2015 I in 2015 I was I was inspired I was inspired by certain genie pictures by Carol Povinsky or KB Shadow Squirrel and the Ask Twixy Genies blog on Tumblr. And so I decided to make my own OC a genie. And it actually stuck. It actually distinguished her from other Alicorn OCs, which is a welcome respite from the usual barrage of oh you are too OP, you're at you you had better be in another land ruling something else. But it's fine. Her her genie magic is actually not not uh not caused by any not enhanced by any supernatural powers of the lamb. All the magic is just from herself. So that makes it a bit more natural. Mm -hmm. I'll just bend this up here. And join the two here so that yeah getting the stump right uh just leave it here so that looks at yeah at least looks reasonable mm. yeah Ethan has posted this blog in the questions I, I, I ran this blog for a while and later on I started branching onto my own stuff. I think that's good enough and so we'll now concentrate on getting the tail right. Make it look smooth, flowing, just like smoke. Maybe I can just This is actually a quite long long Check 
this here, take this here. Yeah, and if Ethan has anything to share, she, he will just post it. She posts it here. He will, he will naturally post it. Am I gonna write track? Uh, yeah. Now for this, normally she has a tall glass bot, tall glass flask as her, has a as a genie as a genie bottle. But right, but for this one, I'm not I'm not gonna do that. I am going to you just use a little little glass orb instead. Meanwhile, let's just delete all these things and yeah, us to Genius was actually I think it was the I believe it was the most direct inspiration for my own cell genies. In fact, I actually like doing them for commissions. I have a small number of friends who because all these are also genies, and they can be found in the inner of friends like us server that Ethan just posted. It's a server that I that I run alongside some, along with someone else. Get this right here. Good. So now she has a stump of some. Now she has a stump on the other side too. This. What? Oh, I forgot about the wings, huh? Just reshape the wings so that they fit the new stroke wave conventions. Eight pixels. Then six and four. Should be eight, six, four, six. Okay, so now we're all good with the wings, and now we can move on to shaping the tail. Duplicate, delete all of this, let's put this in the half. Whoops, wrong pop effect. Should be the hand pickle so I can see it better. And this, tweak this down to one pixel so I can see, really see the strokes more clearly. I'll just leave it here that way. Two and three. And stop, stop.
Get a dream wolf. This way it gets really dicey. Who does make it brush the brush the shin here? in here nicely And that we should be found that regard and we'll draw the glass spear here. gonna lock this in and for the other side so that So it just curls nicely around, as you would expect of a genie tail. Doesn't look quite right, so make it puff it a bit more. And yeah, we'll stick with that. Why is moving? Right, how can I? Tangent lines? Uh, no, they're not. They're actually tangent lines. I, I don't really think of them as tangent lines. Let me just get a curvature right here. Okay, that that'll be fine enough. So we make another clone. Put it here. I 
those lines and we can we will actually ungroup this so that the chain can pass on underneath Smooth red are not so satisfying. Well, well, just because they're smooth. should this class be? In fact, I've actually done all the main parts of the vector. For good measure, we'll just color this a bit pink. A bit, actually a bit blue here because this is actually the color that I have assigned for my almond flask. Make it a marble. Judging from my previous vectors, this is how it is done. Clone. Should really make this a bit pink. Um, and add a little shine here for good measure. Right, no questions. So, uh, just gonna. Should it be green? No. I like my stuff a bit deep. Huh? Oh, I have this sapphire here, so just use it. That is essentially all of the stuff done except the fire, which I still about still got about five minutes left. So you know what? I'll just uh, clone over the flames from and yet yeah, none of my vectors, and then possibly tweak them a bit as well.
It's called Nighty Thorium. It's part of my Periodic Pony series, and... Boom, fire here. And then fire down here. Because Parkley is not floating with her act, uh, her pony magic here, she's floating with some unseely magic. Uh, I'll actually be, I'll actually be making some some minor tweaks to this, but essentially it's actually all done. So I can just delete the reference image and let you admire the work. So this is a vector that that I've done in just under an hour. Of course, I actually had a head start because I I placed some bits of it when I started it. So just admire it. She, it's a Dullahan Pachytaxel, who is also a genie, and he's, and she's, her body is seeking a hit. I actually posted this, posted the origin reference a, f a few, some minutes before my panel started. So this is the, essentially the finished product. So you just admire it, and if you have any questions for me that I haven't answered, you just post in also stage questions. Um, yeah, so let me just tweak, just, never mind, I just, I just leave it here for the rest of the panel, and, but, put your question in author stage questions so that I can answer them. Open other questions, please. Forest Parker, how long does it how long does it take you to make the drawings? Well, it actually depends on how energized am I. If I'm if I'm really focused, I can actually complete a drawing in like complete a drawing that's more complicated than this in like around two hours, two hours, two and five hours, just sitting in the computer and actually putting down each individual stroke and fill and all that. So I hope that answers your question. And next question, next question. Come, come on, let, let's make as much use of the time in this panel as we can. Anything else, Eden? Well, oh well, I'll just... I'll just give a little uh, story about my uh, panel. Oh, the, the, what are your favorite ponies to draw? Uh, my favorite ponies, they are... Well, the pony that you see right here, she is my favorite pony to draw. And I also like drawing... Uh, in fact, more recently, I've actually been more for drawing more OCs than k ponies. But if I had to pick a favorite k pony to draw, I... I would say Princess Luna. Well, Pr Princess Luna because in her back in the backstory of Parkley Taxo, Luna is of course Parkley's mentor, and she shares a direct telepathic link with Parkley. Yeah, I'm seeing that several people are typing message on my phone, which is a good sign, of course. <laughs> In fact, as I mentioned earlier, that because I, I use the most, I use, I often use previous vectors when I'm drawing new vectors, and also references from the show. I often take them as poses for me to draw my vectors. Hmm. So the mold of Bagetaxa right now, she is like the mold, She shares the same mold in a sense as. Twilight Sparkle, Prince of Twilight Sparkle, as in the one, not, not the uh, 20 years later one. <laughs> Tom, what is the most complicated pony you have drawn? Well, the, for a long time I did not have such a complicated, I did not draw very complicated ponies. But let me show you one that, let me show you, in fact two 
which are very complicated, which actually, even I was actually a bit mind boggled at how to draw them. RCC, uh, this is a commission that I've done recently. Mm. I might just close this for a while. Actually, uh, wait, I've actually Selvin RC. Yeah, it should be on here right now. It should be on here right now. It, or rather, let me just post the link, the link to the complicated vector that I recently did. It's a. Uh, let me just post the link in the stage questions. Images. Two four six one, two four, two four six one six nine eight, nine six eight actually, and the link is right here. So this is a recent commission that I did. Uh, Armani and Zerithustra, two genies dancing, and who belong to a friend of mine, a very close friend of mine, in fact. Mete Solos or Salyux. Yeah, the jewelry right here is is extremely complicated. Extreme, and I, I only done this once or twice, once before, once before, twice before. So getting them right in the given pose was actually a, quite a challenge. Uh, what tools in Inkscape do you use the most? Starlight Flux Sars? Well, by far and away, the most common tool that I use is the pen tool. So that should answer your question. In fact, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna give an other pictures that other complicated stuff, other complicated OCs that I've drawn over the past few months or so. Uh, Axe two four four eight six four one. Whoops, wrong. Ah. So this is a Lamia called Sahara, and she is actually coiling up her the actual genie bottle that you did not see in my panel. I've actually got a lot of them on. I've actually got a lot of vectors, absolutely a lot. In fact, there are well over a thousand pictures of thousand images on my artist tag on the paper row. And you can find all of them at the link that I'm gonna type right about now, right here. So you so you can check 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 me out in so you can check check out what I have in in that link and if you're interested you can actually commission me because my commissions are open. You can my commissions are open, you can commission me on any way you want and if there are no more if, You can commission me if you have the money. I my vectors are quite cheap and you'll be granted you get something good out of it. So there are no more questions here. I'll just I'll just end the panel and then take further questions just over and then take and then take further questions over the chat system. We have a 15 minute break from here to the next panel, so I'm just gonna end here. So thank you and have a good evening for, have a good afternoon for those in the UK. And it's already 9 p.m. here, so good night.